Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I'm sorry about that, I think my microphone was playing up so I just altered it. Right, so today I've got a haul and I've also already made a card using this haul. But we are going to be using this haul throughout the week. Right, first up we've got Autumn. Now I'm pretty sure I'm holding this the right way around. So it's autumn leaves, oak leaves, we've got acorns, there's bits hidden behind stickers but we are going to be using these and also comes with a set of dies. So that's my first one and these sheets if I grab my ruler because everything's done based on carrier sheet size. So this is seven and three quarters by five and seven eighths well that really makes a lot of sense doesn't it so that is my first set my second one also comes with dies and this was purchased as a set and we've got like little ticket pieces we've got that beautiful little wren bird we've got numbers we've got words I think that says momentum, movement. I'm trying to scan it in really closely. We've got a little bit of music. We've got a nice little postmark. In fact, we've got several of those. We've got more music. We've got another little songbird and another one. And just little bits of scripts. Just really lovely. And this comes with the three uh, dies to be able to cut out those three birds and you also get a kind of tickety shape which will cut out some of these things and I think it also fits the music but the carrier sheet again you know is the same size but um, I think if I measure one of the stamps which would be this one this little cheeky birdie here we're oh one and a half inches I'd say across and then the height of that little bird is I'm going to the top of the stamp two inches so that's basically what we're looking at there if you look at the size of that bird and then next up is a Christmassy one which is holly uh, outlines and you've got central um, ink splashes and things to add on to it You've got berry pieces with splashes and then you've got like little berry dots and whatnot and there is also peace and joy and holiday wishes and i think there's another one here yeah merry and bright one of my favorite sentiments merry and bright and then all of that comes with dyes as well so this week we're going to be making cards now I have used some out of this for my card today which is why that's stained orange <laughs> but we've got the full alphabet and then we've got a separate alphabet and then we've got the dies which cut out these little tabs you can see I had a few extras left over so you get them as solids which will obviously you know make a white letter or you can just go in on um, I think there's a blank one in here no there isn't a blank one you just get a separate alphabet yeah so you've got a separate alphabet if you want to use it but I just think that's really lovely and so the height of those because that's important because they're uh, all identical is one let's have a look to the top of there I'm going to say it's one and a quarter inches high and then let's look at the width I'm trying to look at the edge of the stamp three quarters of an inch but it does come with these and there are ten so you can cut out ten pieces of cardstock and then stamp onto them which is very useful and then next up is another Christmas one and this also comes with dies and we've got snowflakes we've got a large Christmas tree seasons greetings there's a pine branch there's another little snowflake um, a kind of piney branch there or bow joy to the world 
and farm fresh Christmas trees and that's a pine cone but once again come in with all the dies I think that's really lovely and then next up we've got a kind of diary calendar planner one so we've got let me get these the right way around we've got these and this comes with a die to cut all of those out so you've got all your date numbers and then you've got sentiments on the ends of those and then you've got lined paper you've got grid paper and then you've got tickets so you've got with friends my favorite oh my heart so thankful best ever and then you've got all of those individual bits they say oh happy day gratitude the very best these are moments to always remember oh there's several of those so you can print that out quite a few times but also comes with the dies to cut those elements out so you've got tickets you've got like torn strips and you've got like um what's it called ring band uh, note paper shape for stamping the other things onto and the ticket size i'll do that one because everybody loves a ticket and that is one and a half inches and seven eighths again seven eighths of an inch so that's another lovely one and then last but not least and this is the one that i've used for my card and you can see <laughs> even though it's archive it's ranger archival ink and i'm using ranger archival cleaner the staining won't remove so we've got pumpkins we've got the layering pieces for the pumpkins we've got thank you we've got autumn leaves and we've got hello fall you've got all the little stem pieces and i've also got the dies that go with that set it's a really really lovely set and then i made a card and i made a card using a frame now i thought i'd actually put it in my dies but i must have put it away again if i can find similar i will link below but i can't promise and that's my card so you can see i've used those little tickety bits with the letters and just done autumn I did the leaves which have all cut out because this is kind of the style of them looking at the website they're like you know all ink splashed and uh, this is frayed burlap we've got um oh honey wild honey and spiced marmalade i think is correct and then we've got um evergreen forest oh I don't know which one it is i'm trying to think <laughs> archival evergreen forest i think it is and then um it's the ranger archival wendy vecchi in leaf green those are the colors that i've used frayed burlap on the stems and espresso uh, on some of the stems as well but i just love that i love the simplicity of it and i love that that kind of it almost looks like a wooden board has been painted it looks really harvesty and nice i like that and i tried to keep the height of my little tabs there within the size of my frame so that is the card that i made and i can tell you that the finished card is if i go to my outside frame there these stitched frames are from surprise creation so it's a six inch up to the white frame by let's get that correct four and five eights but i just love that that just screams awesome to me absolutely love it right that is what i got for you today oh i did get this yeah fluid graphite we're going to be using this this week i'd already got a bottle of this and i couldn't find it so i had to get myself some more because you can do lovely stuff with this so that's what I've got. Yeah, I've got this from Amazon. <laughs> right, once again, thank you so much for joining me today. Do have an absolutely awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.